Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. Behind me here is a new construction house my company just finished. Uh, this was with Dick Clark Architecture. Specifically, Scott Ginder was the architect on this project. And this is actually his personal family's house. This has been a really fun project. I want to talk to you today about heat pump water heaters. And specifically, we're going to spend some time talking about the, one, the model that we used on this house, which was the AirTap ATI 66. Let me give you a quick primer first on heat pump water heaters and why we like them. The biggest reason why we want to use a heat pump water heater is energy efficiency. There's a huge energy savings to using one of these water heaters compared to a traditional resistance water heater. I've seen on the Energy Star website that a standard electric water heater uses about $500 in electricity per year to make hot water for a family of four. And these heat pump water heaters, there's about five or six models on the market, are at least twice as efficient. And in fact, the model that we're using is 2.4 times more efficient than a standard electric water heater. So if it costs $500 to use a standard water heater, this one would be $208 at 2.4 times more efficient. That's a huge energy savings. And you can see why even a very expensive tank at a thousand or more dollars compared to a few hundred for an electric could be made up within a very few, very few short uh, years in the electricity savings. Most Texas houses have water heaters in the garage. And when we were designing this house, we wanted to really take advantage of that heat pump water heater, knowing that we were gonna use uh, one in this house. And so Scott, the architect and I, uh, figured out a way to make a mechanical closet in the hallway. The reason why we want to do that with a heat pump water heater is because the two main uh, kind of exhaust benefits of a heat pump water heater are cool air and dehumidified air. If we put that in the garage, those extra benefits are basically wasted. Whereas if we put those in our conditioned envelope, meaning inside of our house, then we can take advantage of that cool and dehumidified air. Let's go inside and I'll show you where we place this one. All right, we're inside now. We're in the two-story foyer area. Again, this is about a 2,000 square foot house. On this level is main living areas, dining room, kitchen, all that's behind me. This is the staircase right in front of me here. And then upstairs is all the bedrooms on this house. So instead of putting this heat pump water here in the garage, I was able to work with the architect, uh, Scott Gindra, on this project with designing kind of a, a bit of a mechanical room right here in the foyer. And that's where our AirTap ATI 66 lives. This is really the perfect spot inside the condition space for a heat pump water heater because remember when this unit runs, um, this particular model is a 66 gallon model, which I like bigger than the standard 50 gallon models. Um, it has a 10,000 BTU compressor on the inside. So when this is running, we're putting out 10,000 BTUs of cooled and dehumidified air. That's a huge benefit. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got a little drain right here in the floor. And we're dripping really well out of that drain. We've got, a, we've got a nice steady drip of water coming out of there. That's condensate off of this heat pump. A Couple things that separate this ATI. The number one reason why I like this ATI versus all the other models in the field is that I can duct that exhaust. On the top of this unit, there's an input. I've got photos I'll lace in. There's an input uh, air and there's an exhaust air. And you can see the silver duct right here is an exhaust to the other side of the wall. Right behind us here is the kitchen, which tends to be one of the hottest rooms uh, in the house. You're cooking in there, you've got an oven going, you've got other things happening. There's usually a, a fairly decent sized crowd in kitchens. That's a perfect place to dump this cool dehumidified air on the outside. So that's the, that's the biggest reason why I like these air taps versus the other units, which don't have ducting options. Really, you're just, you're just bringing air in from a closet or from a garage and that uh, cool dehumidified air is just going wherever. Having the ability to duct is huge. Number two, I really like that this is a bigger capacity. This is the 66 gallon model. They also make a model that's 80 gallons. Having that larger capacity allows us to set the temperature on this a little hotter. In fact, the set point on this one, uh, we've got currently at 125 degrees, which gives us a little bit uh, greater of a first hour rating. So if a client takes a shower, and then puts their kid in the bathtub. We've got plenty of capacity at 66 gallons. Then we can also run this on econ mode so the resistant heat, resistance backup heaters are not kicking on. We're really just using the heat pump and the larger tank size allows you to do that. With a bigger family um, or with a greater demand, I'd recommend even going up to the 80 gallon unit. A lot of the 50 gallon units are not gonna be able to keep up the demand. Although if you have one already, set them to a higher temperature. That makes a big difference. 
Two other things that separate this uh, AirTap model. Number one, it's a Panasonic compressor on the inside. As I look through the specs on some of the other models out in the marketplace, I couldn't tell who made their compressors, which makes me think that they're, they're made overseas uh, in a factory and we have no idea who manufactured them. Number two, this is the only model in the field that has a stainless steel tank. Tank longevity is really one of the things that kills either a standard electric water heater or a heat pump water heater. And having a stainless tank in there compared to an enameled steel is gonna make a huge difference in longevity. It's hard to estimate precisely how long these will last. These have only been on the marketplace a few years. I have some ream models that I put in uh, two and three years ago when they first came out. They're working great today. I really think that this model should last between 10 and 15 at a minimum. But with the stainless tank, that Panasonic compressor, I think this probably could go in the 20 plus year mark. If you think about a refrigerator um, or an air conditioner at your house, that's the same exact technology. And so many people have refrigerators in their garage. They got taken out of their kitchen when they were modeled. They still work just fine. Uh, so they plug them into the garage. This is the same technology on this heat pump water heater. I think we're gonna see pretty long life out of these. So if you think about the energy savings, the very long life, even a unit like this that's a little more of a premium compared to some of the other models, they'll really pay for themselves over a short few year period. And then beyond that, you've really gained a huge amount of benefits. So please, if you're building new or remodeling, consider trying to find a way to bring this heat pump water heater inside your house. And I really like this ATI 66. It's not available at some of the big box stores. You gotta hunt for it a little bit. You might go to their website or talk to your plumbing supply house about uh, finding out how you could get one uh, for your house. Thanks for joining me everybody. We'll see you next time.